this feels quite a novelty to actually be going somewhere. Normally, I'm driving around in circles making videos, but today I'm in the Peugeot 508 GT heading into central London for a contactless collection that isn't my car but it is special nonetheless. I'm heading down to BMW Park Lane. I've been cordially invited by the customer and BMW Park Lane. You might remember last summer I collected my M2 competition in a contactless collection uh, down in central London. Today, I believe this is the first UK customer BMW M3 competition collection. A little bit of a mouthful, but the customer is a friend of mine, Reese, who owns R44 Performance. Now they supplied a bunch of carbon fiber for my M2 comp, including the CS competition style bonnet that featured on my M2 and actually transformed the car. Reese has had this order down for ages, and there is quite a funny history behind how he doesn't even know the spec of the car. I was texting him last night, and I was like, do you even know the color of the car? He was like, yeah, 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 I know the color of the car, but I don't know the wheels. I don't know what options it's got on. It sounds like it was a bit of a lucky dip, but Reese wanted the first out of the BMW Park Lane dealership. And he has got the first thanks to the legends of Park Lane. And I've been invited to come down and film it in a socially distanced manner. So today, this is gonna be quite an interesting video. Uh, I've already driven the car, but you haven't seen the video yet. I've already driven the M3 and the M4 but I'm working on an exhaust expert episode for that. Uh, so there will be no drive, I won't be driving the car today, just going down to check it out, because I can't wait to see the spec, just as much as Reese. We have made it underground. I don't know whether you can hear in the background, but Reese is on the phone to insurance at the moment to try and get insurance on the BMW M3. This is all so last minute for a car that he's known is coming for a long time. It's very last minute, but very typical Reese. And basically, BMW Park Lane are soft launching the car on Saturday. So they'll have a car in the showroom. They'll allow people that have allocations for the M3, M4 to come and have a look at the car. They're not offering drives yet, but uh, the handovers for the first five customer cars are happening this Saturday. So actually you're watching this on Sunday. So they would have already been, uh, but we're here a little bit early to film a collection for the camera. Uh, and so they can get a first glimpse on the car, take some photos for social media. So massive thank you to BMW Park Lane uh, for allowing this to happen a little bit earlier uh, than planned. Uh, but then on Saturday, which has already happened, Reese will have collected his M3 and driven it home. There it is. I mean, I feel as excited as you do. I know, I know. I don't know what's under the cover, really. Well, it's, apart from it being an M3 comp, you don't. No. You no. know that you know the colour of it. I think it was like six, eight months ago we spec'd it. Really? Something stupid, yeah. The second it came out, we could, we, yeah. we got on it. So. Well, I mean, you're one of the first, if yeah. not the first. No, no, no. Yeah, well, I think we're the first at Park Lane, so. Sick. Maybe in the UK, we'll see. Yeah. Well, the guys are here, and uh, we are in the great company of this. Yeah. This yeah, is a yeah. beautiful a little spec. Teaser. Little teaser. Diamond cut wheels. Yeah. Check out this carbon down on the front bumper. And then we've also got an M4 over there. Um, I reckon we go for it. Yeah, Should we go for it? it? Guys, we're ready. Wow. Oh. That's like Nardo. It is, yeah. It's Brooklyn Grey, so. Is that what it's called? Brooklyn yeah. Grey? Yeah, yeah. And how long is it staying so stock? Not very long, yeah. We're hoping to stay straight from here, straight to our workshop. And, really? Uh, yeah, we'll start playing around and see what we can do. What do you think, based on first impressions, is the first thing that's going to happen? The first thing is spacers. Yeah? Yeah, that's the, like, the first thing we have on the shelf ready that can fit this. Spacers, just widen up the look a little bit more. Beef it up a bit. I mean, already, it's, I mean... It's not okay. bad. I was surprised. I, in the photos you've seen, like, car looks like it's like that high yeah 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 but i think a lot of the photos as well they're on um delivery blocks as well so uh yeah so like i didn't realize how low it was on the rear 
Actually, yeah, to be fair, it's quite low. That's but quite M3s are always low on the front and high on the rear. Uh, low on the rear, high on the high front. High on the front. The smell of a new car. I know, I know. No air fresheners, no McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> They're like Alcantara as well. Go on, get in, get in. Tell me how they feel. Are they going to be good enough for your track days? Yes. By the way, this man does about 400 track days a year. We've even got though the there's first only... one that the track's open, we're there. <laughs> Bedford Auto Train, 29. There are 365 days in the year and you do more than that on track. Yeah, yeah two a day. <laughs> but yeah, wow. I don't know. Got some electric seats. Nice, lovely. That is properly... Should we get the keys? I think yeah. that's the next. Let's hear it. Them. Are you going to drive it out? I, <laughs> I, I want to see you try and drive it out because this is uh, notorious with BMW and Mini Park Lane. It's not, re it's not really a problem for Minis, yeah. uh, but it is a massive problem for uh, BMWs, especially the bigger ones. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's really narrow and it gets narrower here where the walls come in and uh, basically they've carpeted the walls. See, there's been some slight collisions along the way. Yeah. <laughs> you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, that's tight. No, no, no. Ooh. More full lock. Yeah. He hasn't got any more. Really? Go for it, go for it. You're good, you're good this side, yeah. windy it's quite windy but out and about in natural light they both look great the green is a proper metallic and I actually quite like the diamond cut wheels on the car outside but I still prefer gloss black gloss black is the way forward and uh, it's getting quite busy around here not entirely sure how much content we're gonna get out here but it is cool to see them out on the road in a bit of a convoy uh, through Mayfair but oh yeah, this is literally my ideal spec. It's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. <laughs> the guy in the van was filming. He knows what's up. Check now. Oh. Look at the seats on this. That was probably cool to see Reese's car. I think he's nailed the spec. Let me know in the comments whether you would spec it like that or how you would spec it if you were uh, purchasing an M3 comp. But 
yeah, I think it must be so hard for Reese. He's got to drive home and then come back in two days' time to actually collect the car. But by the time this video's gone out, he would have collected it. Uh, but there we go. I'll leave it there. I'm starving now, so I'll see you soon, guys. I'm going to grab some food on the way home. Yeah, I need some food. It's just my mouth watered there. <laughs> I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Goodbye.